here with Arune Herrera Martinez uh, from EBRD, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Uh, he's the senior manager for renewable energy and climate change based in Turkey. Thanks for taking the time to meet us. Thank you, Alex. Um, what makes geothermal interesting for EBRD? Actually, uh, geothermal is a quite interesting energy source because it's a, a renewable energy source, but on top of that, it's one of the few renewables that is base load. Uh, and on top of that, uh, it suffers from very characteristic uh, barriers that hinders its development. It, it suffers from uh, the lack of uh, appropriate regulatory framework to, to support its scale up, but also it suffers from the lack of financing, especially at early stages. Therefore, for any multilateral development bank, uh, is one of the renewable energy sources that needs additional support in order to achieve its full, full potential. And that's that's where we can play a role. So. If you, if you were to describe maybe a few projects, what project has EBRD financed so far in, in geothermal? I think uh, our, our experience as a bank is in geothermal is relatively recent, if you want. The first geothermal power plant that EBRD financed was the Mudnovsky plant in the far east of Russia in 1997. And since then, until two, uh, 2009, EBRD did not uh, finance any geothermals because our natural country of operations did not have the, the resources, if you want. Uh, but since we started operating in Turkey in 2009, we, we actually came across the, the last poten potential for geothermal development in Turkey. And since then, we financed uh, 279 uh, megawatts in uh, seven different plants. Um, six of them through financial intermediaries, local banks, through credit lines, and uh, one of them directly, the largest plant in Turkey, 170 megawatts of, of geothermal capacity. If you were to describe maybe one or two kind of key financings that, that you've done in geothermal that maybe describe kind of the role of EBRD in these projects. I think the, the, the two key milestones in EBRD geothermal financing are, are the um, the mid -self credit line, the mid-size sustainable energy financing facility, a, a 1 billion euros credit line that we put uh, together in Turkey. And through that credit line, we finance six geothermal power plants of mid medium size from 10 to 20 megawatts of installed capacity. We finance one of 45 megawatts actually, but generally medium size. And then the second milestone is the financing of the FLR plant with uh, the Goodish Group. Uh, which is the largest geothermal plant in Turkey. That those are the two key milestones. So, looking forward in Turkey, how how much do you see the Turkish geothermal market growing even further? I mean, it has a, done a tremendously jump in the in the rankings and, and development. Yes, I think I think Turkey is uh, one of the hottest geothermal markets in the in the world. Not by the temperature, but by by the amount of private sector investment that uh, that it managed to mobilize. Um, I think the, the the Turkish geothermal market has a bright future. And uh, the next, the next frontier in terms of financing is actually supporting developers in uh, in uh, developing early stage pla uh, early stage plants, and that's what we're trying to do now with our early stage geothermal development framework. We're trying to mobilize climate finance um, in order to actually lower the equity burden of early stage geothermal development. Uh, and on top of that, we're trying, thanks to um, EU TC funds, technical cooperation funds, we're trying to bring, bring global experts to support developers in implementing best practices at the early stage. So combined uh, financing that helps basically get, get projects off the ground and at the same time doing this in a sustainable manner, is that? Indeed, uh, uh, actually what we are trying to do with Pluto, with the early stage geothermal development framework, is actually uh, develop new greenfield areas and prove the geothermal resources in those areas for developers to later, once the resources are confirmed, take on board and, and, and uh, use their equity and then debt financing to further expand those plans. Well, thank you very much, Arunay. I mean, it's uh, great to see you here in Iceland and uh, show you some of our plans here in Iceland. We're much, very much looking forward to seeing you at the Think Geo event and uh, IGC Turkey event in Izmir. Very much, so very much looking forward, Alex. Very much looking forward to, to being there. And thanks a lot for their kind inv invitation to, to participate uh, in this conference. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.